The implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, or simply defibrillator, is a device about the size of the palm of your hand that sits under the skin on the front of the chest. It has wires that go down into the heart. The purpose of this device mainly is to monitor the heart. In certain individuals, the heart can go into abnormal and life-threatening arrhythmias. The device will monitor this if the heart goes into a rhythm abnormality, such as ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. The ICD or defibrillator can deliver a shock that can turn the heart back into normal rhythm. It also has the ability, in general, to pace the heart back into normal rhythm under certain circumstances. The device also has all the functions of a pacemaker. As you can see, it looks like a pacemaker, but a little bit larger. It can pace the heart in individuals who need pacing, whose hearts are too slow. The defibrillator is meant for patients who have a weak heart, who are at higher risk for sudden cardiac death due to ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Patients who receive defibrillators will first meet with their doctor. It's at this point where the patient needs to ask their doctor every question that they need to ask to feel comfortable having the procedure done. There are certain risks to the procedure and this needs to be clarified to the patient. In anticipation of the procedure, the patient should come to the hospital fasting unless told otherwise and should also take all of his or her medications until, unless told otherwise. When a patient comes to receive a defibrillator, they'll come to the hospital, be admitted, and come to the cath lab. The cath lab is like an operating room, but with x-ray equipment. The technicians will prep the area on the patient where the device is going. Typically, it's on the left. There are certain reasons we can put it on the right as well. Local anesthesia is applied, as well as general anesthesia for the patient to be sedated. We'll make a small incision, just large enough for the defibrillator to sit inside the skin. Then wires are passed down into the heart through the vein that leads into the heart. These wires are secured into place and attached to the ICD or defibrillator. Everything is then closed under the skin using a couple layers of absorbable suture so you don't have to have stitches come out. After that, the patient will stay overnight and the following day, if everything looks okay, the patient can be dismissed. With any invasive procedure, there's the risk of bleeding, bruising, and infection. Most patients who receive a defibrillator, because of the size of the device, will have some bruising along their front part of their chest wall. Infection is a rare complication, but it's something we watch for very closely. Because the wires go down into the heart through the vein, there's a chance and a risk of damaging the lung or damaging the heart when these go in. But this risk is relatively uncommon. We take all risks very seriously and we're very experienced at managing these risks if they occur.